We're here today with our friends from Launch Code who have flown in all the way from St. Louis to say hello. Well, hello, everyone. Hello. Who do we have here with us today from Launch Code? So I'm Jim McKelvey. And I'm Brendan Lind. And I'm Zach Liu. And for those unfamiliar, could you tell us a little bit, a bit about what Launch Code is? So Launch Code is a job placement system that we um, are pioneering uh, starting in St. Louis, but we're going to bring it nationwide. The idea basically is to get companies to change their hiring practices to accept people who have non-traditional credentials. So as we know, um, you know, as programmers, that a lot of the best programmers are self-taught to some, to some extent. And uh, companies uh, don't necessarily recognize this in their hiring practices. So if you're a good coder, uh, you still don't necessarily have a way to a good job. Mm -hmm. And so we started working with 100 companies from you know, billion dollar firms like Enterprise and you know, MasterCard uh, down to two-man startups. And we've gotten them all to agree to take launch code candidates into um, basically an apprenticeship system. I and mean, how did you find CS50's materials in the first place? So it was really funny. Um, my wife took your class online through Harvard Extension. Mm -hmm. um, and she took uh, fall 2012 uh, CS50. And uh, while we were, you know, I'm, I'm a computer scientist by training, um, and so, uh, you know, I was helping her through the class and I was watching it, and um, uh, she said, you know, this, this is being offered online through edX, and, and, you know, we're placing these people who have very little, you know, uh, traditional credentials, and we're like, oh, this, is, this would be fantastic. So that's how we found out about it. Uh, it's through my wife, Anna, and, and your Harvard Extension program. So It's funny, such yes. a small decision, her taking the class. It's had such an impact then. It's, 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 it was super lucky. Um, and um, we were really excited to see that uh, you, know, you guys are working with edX and making it available and all the supplemental materials. And um, it's, it's a fantastic resource for training. Okay. Well, in, in the news, we actually came across uh, a look at what the first night of Launch Code was <laughs> when you were in the Opera House. Can you give us a first-hand account of what your... <clears throat> experience was like that evening? Yeah, so um, I was in Rome and Brendan called me at three in the morning <laughs> and said, we've overflowed all three venues. That, so we had the uh, Christchurch Cathedral, um, the Downtown Library and the Soldiers Memorial, which are three fairly large venues. Um, and we were expecting you know, a few hundred people. We had over a thousand people sign up. So we That's overflowed amazing. everything and Brendan calls me like, we need a bigger building, you know, so. <laughs> and, and they got us this giant, uh, this giant opera house um, uh, where we held the first class. Oh, that's great. And uh, people were so grateful. I mean, the, 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 the people who we are reaching are people who you, you just want to help these folks. And from what you've seen, just how realistic is it someone who enters the course with no prior background and some months later they have 13 weeks of CS50 under their belt to actually feel confident enough and be qualified enough for an actual programming job? So, David, we really don't know. Okay, um, because we haven't done it at any sort of scale yet. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our data points right now are what we, what I've learned. You know, is possible, and then uh, the you know fifty some people that we've placed, we know generally where they are, and our guess is that somebody who comes through CS50 is going to be generally as skilled as some of the people we've already successfully placed. Mm -hmm. So we haven't proven it at scale sure. yet, um, and I'm not saying that this is a complete you know education by any means. You know, um, but it it's such a great start. And it gives people a context, and it also, um, you know, it's a rigorous class. So anyone who, you know, completes this class has proven something. Mm -hmm. You know, they've demonstrated some character or a combination of, you know, either, you know, tenacity or intelligence or, you know, whatever that magic formula is that, that gets them through the, you know, pretty tough class. Mm -hmm. um, we think that's going to, you know, bode very well for their success. And we have companies that are willing to, you know, to back us up on that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so we don't really know, but we're very optimistic that, uh, that anyone who gets through CS50, um, we can get a job. And, and the thing is, is that launch code is not like your typical entry level hire, right? It's not where you come in and say, normally you might need a CS degree and two years of work experience to get a, mm -hmm. a lot of jobs, right? But then launch code, it says, comes in, hey, you don't need any of those things. You don't have to be qualified to that point. What you have to be is have that aptitude and drive to get to that level. Mm -hmm. So it's an apprenticeship. And it lasts until you're at that level where you would be brought in for the normal position. I and see. the company can let you go at any point. So the companies are <clears throat> the ones doing ultimately that initial apprenticeship. Right. Yeah. I yeah. See. So what CS50 attempt, what we're doing trying to do with CS50 is get them to the point where then, hey, if you can take CS50, like you have that drive, you have that will to learn, and you have that aptitude to self-learn and work in a company to handle whatever it is that is needed, right? And then we can get them, we get them in the door and uh, they get paid, they get paid 15 bucks an hour for the duration of the apprenticeship and whenever they're ready, 
the company turns them into a salaried position. If they don't, if the company doesn't think that they're on their way, they can let them go. And, and so far that success is that like, pretty much everybody is still with their company. Okay. So right now you're focused on St. Louis, but I gather you'd like to take the initiative nationally. So what is indeed next for you? So next are um, a series of cities around the country. So we don't want to go national until we've refined the model and maybe laid you know, a couple of those sidewalks uh, through the dirt. Um, the, the completion of this first CS50 class is going to be really important because mm -hmm. we're getting good data from that. Um, but once we know what, you know what works and what we really should be doing and scaling, uh, then we're going to scale as quickly as possible because the need exists everywhere. And um, you know, we're not trying to just make this some sort of local St. Louis phenomenon. We're just using that as a, as a test bed and then uh, we'll be expanding you know, as quickly as we can to you know, places that have similar needs. Well, thank you so much for everything you've been doing. We're flattered to even be part of it, and it's been oh, quite inspiring this, to see yeah, how this, so this, well. this has been so generous, of, of just a, a world-class education that is available for people who, who, who genuinely appreciate it. I wish you could meet some of the students and see the people who, uh, you know, it's, it's changing lives, and I just, I, mean, I just wish we could reach through the cameras and bring them here, but it's, it's, it's so meaningful, and it's, it, it's, 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 it's moving the needle, and it's really good, so thank well, you. Thank you for, from us as well. Appreciate yeah, it, David. David. Right. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, of course. LaunchCodeSTL.com for more.